Hey what's up nerds, how you guys doing today? Hopefully everybody's having a great day. I'm excited to be here doing a head shave with you. And I'm trying out a few new things. Um, so if you remember the 7 Sins of Wet Shaving contest um, they had going on back in October. Um, I did a video and I won a brush by uh, Rich Hansen. Shaving with Rich is his YouTube channel. He actually has an Etsy uh, store now where he sells shaving brushes. I won this brush. So let me see if you, it's got a wood top to it and the bottom's this blue and clear and white acrylic. And so it's got a, a synthetic uh, fan knot. So I haven't used a fan knot, this style of knot before and I, I'm guessing it's between a 25 or 26 millimeter knot. Very soft um, yeah, very, very soft knot, so I'm excited to be using that. So that's one thing I'm using. And then a buddy from work let me borrow his chiseled face orange creamsicle soap. And man, it smells awesome. It's got a nice orange, and you get that vanilla to it, and it's got a really, really great scent. So, and he let me borrow the aftershave. So I'm excited to be trying those. Um, so with that being said, we'll get into it. I've already put some pre-shave oil on my hair, on my head, and uh, we'll get going. Can just get the brush a little wet. Um, now I'm excited to see how this uh, fan knot works. I've never used a fan knot before, so uh, yeah, and I like the size of the brush. Um, handle, so that's a cool looking handle. I'm going really lightly into the into the tub. Don't want to mess up the fibers at all. Oh yeah, that's loading really easy. Mm, smells really good. And it's got a good strength of scent too. It's by. I don't know, five or six or seven coming off the tub. It's got a good, pretty good strength of scent. Just gonna put a little water up there and start painting it on. So, how's everybody been? Everybody doing good? Hopefully everybody's having good shaves. I saw uh, Nick Shaves is starting to do some more videos, do some giveaways, and I saw Paul H. Uh, did a 9,000 subscriber uh, giveaway video and he's gonna have two winners coming out of that so that's cool um, really neat those guys are giving back so much I mean giving back some really high quality stuff so um, really neat to see that and I've got uh, the last shave I did is actually the live head shave on Saturday and today's Wednesday so it's that four or five days worth the growth so, very, very soft. This brush is very, very soft. Um, yeah, really soft. I'm going to have to try it on my face. I wish I had a little more backbone to it, a little more density for my head. Oh, I'm also starting kind of a new project, and I'm going to put a link to what I'm, I'm creating. I've got some guys in on it with me already. Um, I'm creating a Google spreadsheet, a Google Doc spreadsheet, um, and I'm sharing it with people. And if you want in on it, just shoot me an email. My email is down in the description, and I'll put a link to this document down in the description so you can view it. But if you want in on it, shoot me an email. I'm trying to put together a list of everybody's razors and blade combinations, their top three blades for each razor. Um, you know, I go on forums and look up like what blades work with what razors, and I thought, man, it'd be pretty cool if there was like a spreadsheet documenting, you know, kind of that, a quick one-stop shop of everybody's uh, blade to razor preference. 
So if you want in on it, know someone who you think would be good for it, um, shoot me an email. I'll share the doc document with you and you can upload your stuff and that way one you can have it for your own record be able to go back and see and you know what blades you liked and kind of keep track because you know when you're testing out a bunch of new blades it's kind of hard to remember like oh man what did I what did I use this one in did I like it and this is creating a really really nice lather it's got a little menthol in it I can feel that menthol a little bit of that cooling menthol effect Smells really good. Good, good, uh, good scent strength. Anyhow, and then you could see back to the, the spreadsheet, you could see what other guys are using. You know, if you're looking to buy a razor and curious about what uh, uh, blades people like with it, or if you have just bought a razor or blades and what they, you know, or if you know someone has a similar beard type or whatever. Um, you can kind of use that as a reference point. So, um, anyhow, that's going to be down in the description. There'll be a link to it. And like I said, if you want on it, in on it, just shoot me an email. And I'll uh, create a tab for you and share that with you. But, alright, there we go. Plenty, plenty lathered. Really nice. Um, really, really nice lather. So, for the shave, I'm using the Mule R41 Mula, 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 I don't know, however you pronounce it. The R41 with a brand new feather blade, and I'm trying it with my Maggards, uh, the short handle. Um, Flash Boredom, who sent this to me, told me to give it a try with the short handle, and uh, he thought it'd, it'd make it a little easier to find the angle and, and be a little easier to use. So that's what I'm going with, and we're going straight in against the grain again. <clears throat> Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, oh man, that is efficient. I mean, that is really nice. Maybe you can see. Let's see if it can't focus a little bit. Ah, oh, whatever. It is taking the hair down really, really nice. Really smooth. I would say... Uh... Compared to the variant, it doesn't have the same smoothness as far as the glide goes that the variant had. The variant just glides right along. I mean, it just it just seems right along. Um, this doesn't have that same smooth glide to it, but it is. I, I think it's probably more efficient. Um, as far as getting close and uh, less passes. And I saw Billy Curtis, Blind Man Shades, he did a... Hmm, he did a head shave with his R41 and uh, I'm not sure how many days of growth he had. But he was doing uh, full strokes. Just he he did against the or with the grain, then against the grain, and I just jumped straight in against the grain, which I know some people think is crazy. But he was doing just full strokes with it, and it was really really efficient. So, I do think the variant has a little better glide and smoothness to it, but the, 
R41 is definitely efficient. And and aggressive. So This handle's a lot heavier than the one that, that comes with it. And so uh, that's throwing, off, throwing it off a little bit for me is the, the weight of the handle pushes a little more pressure down. So I'm having to adjust for that a little bit. And that that's nice. That feels good. No roughness. No harshness whatsoever. And uh the chiseled face soap is performing really well. Um I've used chiseled face a little bit in the past and uh, my buddy ordered a big sample pack from him and one the only complaint I really have about chiseled face has nothing to do with performance it more has to do with sometimes their scents to me seem a little gimmicky they seem a little forced like they're trying to be too cutting edge or or you know I don't know, too cool for their own good sometimes with their scents. Um, now that's just my opinion. But I've used their uh, Midnight Stag scent and uh, it, it did not smell very good at all. It performs good. One thing about them, they perform really well. And, uh, this one's performing really well. And I've used some of their other ones. Summer Storm smells nice. Um, I haven't used Ghost Town Barber. I know a lot of people like that. Um, this orange dreamsicle smells really good. So, oh, and I did the Katie's Bubbles LPV, and uh, the post shave fill was excellent. Really, really nice post shave fill. I used uh, some Soap Commander Courage as my aftershave balm. Did a, add a little water to kind of thin it down. And uh, my face felt really, really nice for a three-pass shave. Flash, you were right. The uh, the shorter handle, it is a little easier to find the correct angle. Um,
really, really good with this feather blade. So what do you guys got on your, uh, your wish lists? Anything fun coming for Christmas or that you want, been wanting to get and ready for Christmas? Got some things I'd like to, like to get for Christmas, so we'll see. I mean that is really really efficient. Doesn't seem like there's much residual slickness so it's almost like the I don't know. The, let's get a little water. Uh, there it comes there it comes back. There we go. Few little spots. Take down the major stuff before we. Move on to the touch up. Alright. That's one thing I love about the feather blade with a good razor like this the variant does the same thing um, there is very little cleanup left over so just gonna paint a little bit on there still plenty plenty very very soft brush that's probably the softest brush I have and uh, feels good nice and soft Sorry I'm being so quiet guys, this shave is going really good. I need a nice relaxing shave. One thing I'm happy about with the Mule, the R41 as well is, uh, I was a little bit afraid of it, but I haven't had any, uh, knock on wood. Maybe I shouldn't even finish this statement, but... 
I didn't even had any problems with even taking off, you know, clipping moles or little bumps or anything. It's just been really smooth and nice. So, like I said, now I'll probably just slice and flay my head wide open. I don't know what it is about this left side of my head here, but the hair must just grow every single direction because it's so hard to get every little piece. The right side, don't have nearly the problem. It's much easier. For some reason the left side, it's just a, a pain, <laughs> not a pain, it's just a, have to work at a little bit, make sure I try to hit it at all the right angles. I got everything up here. Nothing worse than missing something right in the front. There we go. That was a good, nice, efficient head shave. Feels good, smells good. Okay, oh, hold on. Yep, that's it. That is it. All right, guys, I'm gonna uh, take the rest of this goodness here and do a quick uh, Kevy Shaves head wash. So I'm gonna pause, do that, and I'll be right back. So I'll see you in just one sec. Alright guys, Kevy Shaves face wash is all done, going with the Allen block, and uh, interested to see how much it's going to be here on the back of my neck. Not bad at all, a little bit above the ears as usual. Um, a little bit right here, I kind of had to shave quite a bit right in this area to get it down smooth. But when I was rinsing my head, it smelt when I was when I was rinsing the uh, uh, lather off. It smelled like I was putting my face into a melted orange cream sickle. The vanilla, the orange, it it smelled really really nice. And there's just a very light touch of menthol. It feels. Let me see. He told me there was menthol in it. Huh. 
Maybe there is no menthol in this one. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe they don't have it listed or maybe there's no menthol in it. It felt like there was just a little bit of menthol in it. A little bit of cooling effect. But maybe there was something else in it. Um, anyhow. Smelled really good. Um, performed really well. Got a little sticky, but then once I added water to it, like after I had shaved, it, it felt like it dried on my head a little bit. But then once I added water to it, it slickened right up. So, alright, aloe vera, or aloe vera, <laughs> alum block is on. Um, my new my, the Manny Spin Dry. That kind of dry. Dry that a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to rinse this real quick and then we'll slap some witch hazel on. Okay. A little witch hazel with just a little bit of tea tree oil in it. goodness on there. Alright, now Alright, let that soak in a little bit and we'll go over as Steve, the self folk shaver, would say the stars of the shave. Um, so the uh, shaving with rich brush. Uh, really nice. I, I really like the handle. Beautiful handle. Um, very, very soft knot. Um, very, very soft fan knot. Um, uh, smells good. But really nice little brush. Um, I like the hourglass shape to it. You can hold it, you know, pretty easy. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try it on my face. I feel like this is going to be a better face brush than head brush. Chiseled face orange creamsicle. To me, they nailed the scent. It is spot on orange creamsicle. The orange, the vanilla, spot on. I mean, it, that's just exactly what it smells like. Yeah, it, it is really nice. Performed well, easy to lather. Um, a, a good performer. Um, so, nice, very nice. So, the uh, R41 with a feather blade on the Maggard MR3 handle. Really good pairing. Um, the, I, I do like the shorter handle with this head for head shaves more than the uh, the stock or the original handle it comes with. So that, that was uh, really, really nice. And the feather blade, really good. I can usually get two good head shaves out of a feather blade now. Um, I think I'm, my technique must be getting better. Um, and I can, I can usually squeeze two good head shaves out of them. If I try to push for a third, that's when we start running into problems. Okay, now I'm excited to try this. The This is mentholated, I know for sure. Menthol. So, their aftershave. He, my buddy at work, who he loves their aftershaves, the chiseled face. And once again, they nailed the scent of orange creamsicle. Just spot on. So I'm getting a healthy amount. It's got a good amount of uh, alcohol in it. Whew, there is some burn to that. That feels good. I like a splash with alcohol and menthol in it. And that has both. So and it also has, let's see, what else does it have in here? Alcohol, witch hazel, aloe, uh, fragrance, calendula, whatever that is, menthol, vitamin B5, astaxanthin, I don't know, however you pronounce that. So, some good stuff in there. Smells really nice, feels good. I'm getting that cooling burn from the menthol now. The alcohol, the alcohol burn wore off, now I'm getting that cooling menthol kick. 
feels good. My head feels good, very nice and smooth. Um, yeah, that was a close shave. That was a close shave. So, all right, guys, there you go. I even squoze in my full uh, squoze. I don't know if that's a word. I squoze it in. Either way, I'm gonna use it. Squoze in my full uh, post shave routine tonight. So, or today. Um, I'm about to go to bed, but it's you know 11 o'clock in the morning. So, all right, guys, have a good day. Um, once again, if you want in on the blade razor combo, uh, Google Doc. Um, check the link below and then shoot me an email and I'll add you to it. So, um, yeah, if you want in on that, let me know. So be safe, be kind, have a good night, be well, roll tide. Talk to you guys later. Bye.